Oh, I was recording that whole time. I didn't even know it. Welcome to the flea market. It is supposed to be a warm day today, so I think there's less of a turnout, but still a better turnout than my usual flea market. So we shall see what treasures we can find. At least we know we'll find a good donut. This field isn't open today. Usually by this time it's pretty full, so because the heat, it's a no-go. Oh, I see paper. Oh, it's this woman. How much 
are your photos? Is there a price you'd have for the whole box? No, All righty. Another one that won't sell by the box. I just never got that. It's like, it's an easy way to move it. Um, because chances are I'm not the only one that's going to ask what the whole box is worth or what she went for the whole box, so I pass. Those are cute. All righty, thank you. to get him and George. Look at the little ketchup. Homemade root beer. I think we just have to try it. Cause this should be interesting to see what it tastes like. Take five. So, it did pop before. It smells kind of like a beer. All right, I'm nervous. It's root beer, root beerish, but a tad like fermenty, alcoholic ish. It's not bad. I'm sure it's healthier. <laughs> I'm sure it's healthier than like a normal root beer. This is where I get the donut. It's building number two. Gosh. They're not here. Now I gotta go to building number one to get my donut? Oh my gosh, how could they do this to me? Oh, now I gotta go to building one. Oh my gosh. Sad day. We're on building number three. We're gonna try building number three today for a donut. Oh, they have flash knots. You might get whatever those are. Oh no, they said the salted caramel to try. Oh my gosh. What is that? Cream filled powder. Oh, blackberry and cream. That sounds good. I will be going to the gym today after eating this. This is a blueberry cake. And then this one, it's not for me. It's a cookies and cream. So you have about two crushed Oreos atop a donut. Good heaven. It's like it, the noise follows me. It knows that. Oh, they stopped. It's hot out. I can see why this place isn't packed like it usually is because it's like sweaty weather right now and it's only 8 in the morning. So, time to go. Even a bad day, quote unquote, bad day at this flea market beats a bad day at my usual flea market. The heat does not stop these vendors from coming out, at least the majority of them. So yes, it is another hot day here, you know, 75 at seven o'clock in the morning. So a lot of the 
sellers do not show up because it's too hot for them. You know, you pull out all your merchandise, you sit there for hours and you bake. <laughs> But still, despite many not showing up, there was still a there was still a great turnout at the market. So definitely worth going out there. And the one thing that I bought, I didn't look it up. I didn't think it'd be worth this much money is actually not a bad buy considering it cost me 50 cents. And guess what it is? This guy, good old enchanted tiki room PVC figure. That's it. It's marked on the bottom, Disney, China. Just this little guy. And one recently sold on eBay for $39.99. So I can take my 50 cents and turn it into 30 some dollar profit, making money and paying for everything else I bought today. Um, you know, I, I love Disney, the Enchanted Tiki Room, I enjoy the show. <laughs> Some people can't stand it, but it is a definite uh, must do on every Disney trip. And yeah, $39.99. Who would have thought? So my 50 cents turn into that. Everything else is paid for. Not a bad day. I also bought George there for 50 cents too. Usually these are pencil sharpeners, but he is not. Um, I thought he'd be fun for your 4th of July decor. I was hoping maybe Abraham Lincoln was in there, but I didn't see him. So, yes, not bad. So what else did I get? We got some vintage Christmas, which was a nice surprise. Some paper. I got that donut, which was... Mm, that much sugar in the morning is probably not a good thing. My usual donut place was closed. I don't know why. They're more like the old fashioned kind of donuts, not such like cake, like, you know, throwing all sorts of toppings on it, but just your tried and true donut uh, varieties. Then I got the homemade root beer. <laughs> that was interesting. It wasn't bad. Um, would I want to buy it all the time? No. It had like a vinegarish um, kind of smell and taste or close also with like kombucha, that kind of like feeling in your mouth. Um, it was interesting. I am glad I purchased it just to try it. So anyway, back to what did I buy? What did I buy? Well, let's talk about the Christmas. Um, one guy had like a tote of Christmas stuff. So I went through it. I didn't buy the shiny brights. Um, for my own collection, sure, but I, they just weren't my my color or my um, desired look, so I left those. But we did buy the bag of like tags. The only reason I bought that was for these little guys. These are cute. Got that. This fun snowman, which I did not realize is actually a bottle for foaming bath oil, uh, made by Northern Laboratories in Manitoc. Manitowoc, Manitowoc, was, uh, Wisconsin. Mild, fragrant, no bathtub ring, coconut oil base. <laughs> Didn't even see that. I just thought he was rather cute. Nothing in there. Got him. I did pick up this. This is or was a lollipop holder. It says, I'm your Jolly Chocolate Marshmallow Santa Pop. And this is from the E. Rosen Company in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. So great piece of Christmas advertising. He is still in really nice shape. I imagine the lollipop probably was held by the little ribbon around his neck. I bought these. The plastic is not, I mean, it's a little too kitschy for me. And I know that's probably awful to say, but I used to really love it. And over time, I'm just like, not my style, but... I like the Merry Christmas, the plastic. These bells are actually kind of nice because they're flat on the back. And then the reason I picked it up uh, was for Santa, Santa's head over there. But this was like a wreath, a ribbon that someone made. So I'll just take off some of these. These leaves can be, you know that they've been in the heat or in rough conditions when they can get very brittle because they will break in all sorts of little pieces. Got that. I also, um, I thought these were old. I put them down and then I'm like, let me take another look. And so I picked them back up. So these have the um, made in Japan paper sticker on the back or paper tag, 
but they're, you know, it's garland. I don't want to undo it all, um, but very pretty, nice gold. Looks to perhaps maybe never have been used, so I picked up both of them. Um, what other fun things did I find? I did buy this. This is a 1955 yearbook but what is interesting it's for the Lancaster Lancaster however you want to pronounce it Mennonite school I've never had a Mennonite yearbook and now I do so it's I think it'll be neat to look through like even just to see what they say about each other Mary Jane peachy Mary Jane if you're watching well I don't know if uh, do Mennonites watch TV I know there's a big difference between the Mennonite and the Amish community um, you know, one has nothing electric. Some of them do, some of them don't. It, it all just depends. But anyway, Mary Jane, um, Mary Laugh, Vivacious. Girls, this is being silly. Traditions, Ugh, enjoys singing. College and her future plans. That's Mary Jane. Some of these names, Constance Faith, Verna Denlinger, Hershey. Are you related to Milton? Anna Esther, Mary Jane. That's so fun. Marion Erlene, Verna Marie, Dorothy Louise, unpredictable, likes to tease, full of life, enjoys Spanish, and she wrote something in Spanish that I can't pronounce. Marvin Leroy, has a wide field of interest, musically inclined, enjoys a good joke, that laugh, would like to be a missionary, Hey, Joanne, did you do your German yet? I'm guessing you probably said that a lot. Florence Brubaker, efficient waitress. That's good. Usually seen with Betty. Table four is calling for water again. <laughs> so that was a fun buy. Um, and then last but not least. Well, actually, no. I did end up buying these. I don't know why. The little glass big shell dishes. Um, it's milk glass. I don't think these go for much money, but I like that they're colorized and I thought this would be great for anyone that has a bathroom that, well, I think most people have a bathroom. For anyone that has like a beach seashore themed bathroom, you could easily put your soap in there. You could put all sorts of little goodies. So I bought those. There were two of them. Now, last but not least, because why not if it's cute? I bought the boxes of the vintage birthday candles. I thought maybe the boxes um, could be used. They're rather cute, and I just thought of a really neat idea for them. Now, do I save them and add that to my to-do list? I might have to. But anyway, we got those. This one with the really cute pastel colors. So I bought all those, and then I bought this guy. Um, this is to hold, you know, a jewelry display. I like it because guess what color it is? It's green and it is a little bit older. So I thought I could use this in my um, photographs for Etsy. Um, so will any of these items be on Etsy? I'm not sure. Since I just thought of that idea for those birthday candle boxes, I might not. <laughs> but I should have other stuff on Etsy if you're interested. Should is the, is the emphasized word. But yeah, so great day at the flea market. Tried out some homemade root beer, tried out the other donut place, and found this little gem, 50 cents, 30 some dollars, in the tiki, 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 tiki room. <laughs> that was a really good find. Really good. Too bad there weren't like five of them in there. That'd be amazing. But anyway, not a bad day at the flea market. A little hot, but that didn't stop. Um, anyone from going out there except for the sellers that weren't there anyway still a great day at the flea market I really enjoy that flea market I just love rummaging through boxes and seeing what people have uh, whether I am able to buy it whether I'm able to pay their price or not it's still really fun to see what has been brought to the flea market what people have found in house cleanouts storage cleanouts their garage basement and uncle's homes what they bring and what they sell Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this flea market adventure. You can always go back to my flea market page playlist and see some other flea markets that I've gone to and the treasures that I've found. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you all next time.